we started a performance measurement about five years ago, uh, formally. We've been doing a lot of uh, performance kind of measurements on quantity measurements for our budget. And we got very interested in wanting to move beyond quantity to both quality and, and uh, different types of measurements in the ICMA performance measurement uh, group center was available. So we joined as part of an Atlanta regional um, group. My interest was, you know, one was to make sure we were benchmarking ourselves against folks doing similar work, uh, that also our internal uh, staff could see the kinds of things that other cities and counties were measuring and determining if those were important for us, and to give kind of our um, new and mid-level managers opportunities to really work with uh, both performance measurement which and the budget to some extent so that when they became the department heads and the new city managers they would already have experience working um, both across departments and interdepartmental teams and also have experience with the finances and performance measurement so that it would continue kind of into our next generation of leadership. We meet monthly as a team, um, have about one or two staff members from different departments across the organization that come together and we discuss our measures, we discuss what's going on, whether there are CPM measures or they're ones that we're taking part of, and then just numbers in general. And I think one of the things that Meredith brought to this with the um, service spotlights at first was making it fun. What the service spotlights have done is shown why we do it, not that we just go count things. And visually, we can say, this is why we're doing this, and um, I think that's really important, and it's important to have fun with it. My favorite was sanitation, and uh, the reason is because we have made a big effort to make recycling a huge part of the city of Decatur. And when I think of recycling, or when I thought of it, I thought of it as a rather clean process. Um, but after the sanitation spotlight, I learned that recycling is a dirty but necessary job. <laughs> um, and we learned uh, how much actually goes into uh, recycling the goods to save the environment uh, that we have made a big part of the city of Decatur. This year we've moved in a kind of a slightly different direction. We're not so focused on the service areas as we are on vision, what we're calling vision-based budgeting. Um, it's something we started last year or three, three years. years ago um, in our budgeting process where we're taking our 2010 strategic plan and really tying it to our budget document. And in that way, we started writing narratives and creating measures. And so I'm using the team to help come up with those measures that tie into the strategic plan so we see how well that we are doing. I think one of the things that's important, um, the important tie-in, and, and kind of the reason we did it over three years is because we, we phased it in and we moved to, a, in the first year, we moved kind of just to doing what we call t narratives. Um, and we have narrative teams that are some of the CPM members on them, some of them are other folks. They're, again, interdepartmental. So we did that the first year around the, the strategies uh, and our strategic goals instead of around departments. So they're inter interdepartmental. And then the second year, we actually had departments identify the resources, financial resources, uh, they used to support the strategy. And then this third year, we're looking, this is where CPM comes in, is how are we making sure we measure the kinds of things that would tell us we are successfully supporting the strategic plan. So are we measuring um, both what's important in terms of the strategic plan and what's important to the community. And as a uh, budget narrative chairperson, <laughs> um, it's our job to uh, ask our team members to go back to their departments and share their successes with us. And I think one of the, uh, one of the big things here is that uh, all of our performance measures are positive. Uh, there, there are, uh, there's no using the performance measures to chastise employees. Um, so when they go back to their departments and they bring those successes back to us in the Budget Narrative Committee, um, many of those successes end up turning into uh, measures that we can use in the future. We'll say the one 
example that comes to mind is that in our engineering division, when we first started, one of the questions that was asked was about how many potholes had you filled? And that's one of those areas that residents use to judge how well a community is doing is by the things that they see and touch every day. And if you run across the same pothole for year after year, you perceive that your community is not very well. So they took that as a chance, like, well, we're not collecting it right now, but next year we will collect it. And sure enough, they started, and they can tell you how many potholes they filled, how much material they used to fill them, and they were very excited in a way that you don't typically see engineers get excited. I know in our department, we've become much more mindful of things that you can measure, because we are in community and economic development, and um, it's been a challenge to figure out some of the touchy-feely things to measure. So it's really given us a way to think a little bit differently about how we could measure something. We're actually just starting on our benchmarking efforts for, for real and have finally, with the help of our ICMA fellow, compiled a list of 10 cities around the country that meet our criteria such as are they a city or a city county manager form of government? Um, are they a CPM? Are they CPM? <laughs> are they a county seat? Do they have a local college or university in the town? And that's our next, for next year's project, is to really start benchmarking against those cities using our CPM measures. Part of being part of the Atlanta Consortium was to get information on Metro Atlanta, you know, area cities. But we wanted to really take our focus beyond just what's here in Metro Atlanta or in Georgia. And that's really, although the, some of the 10 cities include both Metro and, and Georgia Bay, you know, Georgia cities, was really the breadth of information that we can get from across the country from cities that are similar, but not in our necessarily in our geographic location. We concentrate highly on quality of life. And a lot of times folks are like, well, you can't measure quality of life. What does that mean? Um, and a lot of times the so-called quality of life programs are the first ones that really get uh, impacted negatively when resources become um, more scarce. And one of the things we wanted to make sure we didn't do was impact kind of the high quality, high touch stuff we were doing um, and wanted what the CPM has helped and we also use the National Citizen Survey piece has helped to communicate to our, our elected officials and our departments when they're making resource choices, how important those types of activities are. And we're in a community where a lot of folks work in a lot of high tech, high kind of uh, information um, companies. And if we weren't collecting this data and making it public and producing it, that they think they consider that normal because they have to do it where they're working, and they're not going to live or accept a community that's not doing, not living up to those same standards. So it's not just that the city manager expects it; it's not even just that the city commission expects it. I think we have a community that wants to know we're paying attention. They want us to live up to the same standards that they see in their own um, private companies and in their own industries. And I think when we do that, we gain their confidence. So um, even if I didn't want to do it and the city commission didn't care, which isn't true, our community, it's an expectation that we are going to have performance measures because that is what good companies do. From an operational standpoint, I, I think that the employees really understand the city's vision. Um, and when we are going about our everyday jobs, it's easy to say, I want to be better than I was last year. But now we have a way um, to actually make sure that's happening. And in these uh, performance measurement areas, uh, we are able to plan our strategy for the upcoming year based on um, the successes and maybe uh, the failures of the previous year. Uh, we're constantly striving to offer better service to the citizens of this community.